Joined by TSN Hockey Insider Chris Johnston. Chris, the newest trade bait board looks a lot like the Calgary Flames roster. Elias Lindholm, Chris Tanev, Noah Hannafin, even Jacob Markstrom makes the list. It's one thing to offer up that kind of bait, but is anyone biting on what Craig Conroy is offering right now? Well, not to the degree that I think he would like at this point in time, certainly to, to see anything be actionable. But, you know, we still have almost two months until the March 8th trade deadline. And, you know, I very much expect that Craig Conroy will be in the middle of a lot of the action we see once that gets heated up in terms of the NHL's trading period. And, and look, he stepped into this job. He was named uh, general manager uh, last summer, and he had a number of players on expiring contracts. And, and Craig Conroy has been consistent in that he does not want to walk those types of players right out the door so we can't rule out the possibility at least when you talk about the three players that are ufas on this list that that maybe an extension will come but but certainly if we don't see that i would expect that they'll be traded you know as for markstrom he has a full no movement clause it's a kind of a strange year for goaltenders out there uh, a number of teams and top teams looking for goalies it's not to suggest it's 100 percent certain that he'll be moved but certainly i do think teams will inquire uh, looking for an upgrade at that position. Speaking of goalies, uh, Markstrom's not the only goalie on the list. Jake Allen, John Gibson, and plug your ears, Lee fans, Peter Morazic also out there on the list. Do you think this year could be a blast from the past where GMs used to put more focus on adding goaltending help at the deadline? It, it does appear that the conditions are there for it. I mean, it's been kind of a chaotic year in a number of creases. You've had some teams like Edmonton, Toronto, and Carolina that are all, you know, fashioning themselves as Stanley Cup contenders, and they've had to pass a goaltender through waivers uh, in, in the last few months that, that they were expecting would, would help them. Of course, there's injury situations. There's underperformance situations out there. I mean, really, those are two different tiers of goaltenders. You know, someone like Jake Allen, I, I do think, is, is a cost-effective option. He's signed through next year. Uh, the Canadians have had some, some talks with teams about their interest in him. It doesn't seem like anything's pressing there, but, you know, he is very much available. When you're looking at Gibson and Markstrom, they, they share one thing. They both have pretty large contracts and, and years beyond this one under contract. And so that would be a much bigger decision, a much tougher trade to make in season, where someone like Peter Mrazic had, uh, you know, maybe under the radar because of where Chicago's at in the standings, but been a pretty solid contributor for them. He's a UFA. He'd be a much cheaper acquisition, much easier to get under the cap. So much to talk about. The phone lines are heating up. We're now just over, as you mentioned, eight weeks to the NHL trade deadline. Hockey insider Chris Johnston.